Welcome, Welcome to, to Virtually Camden. Hi, I'm Eve. Hi, I'm Priscilla. Hey, I'm Adri. And we're going to be traveling around Camden visiting different parks and we would love to take you along with us. I love adventuring through nature here in Camden and the green spaces that surround us. Sometimes I'm actually surprised of the, the stuff that's actually available to us. So today we'll be touring the Kramer Hill Nature Preserve. And where exactly is it? But before coming out, we advise you to take these key essentials with you. Located here are some white-tailed deer. And where they're deer, there's actually ticks. And a trick to my ticks is, before actually leaving the house, I love to wear some nice long white socks with some light shoes. And I like to tuck in my pants leg into my socks. This also prevents um, being bitten by the ticks. And also, since we're wearing light colors where our feet are at, while we're walking through the grass, we're able to see the ticks so much more clearly than compared to wearing darker uh, socks and sneakers. Um, another thing I personally love to bring, which is personally my best friend as well, is bug spray. I will like lather this all over me because I don't want to get bitten by mosquitoes. And plus, uh, mosquitoes actually can bite through your clothes. So it's actually really good to layer on your clothes as well. Um, at the preserve, it can get pretty hot. So you can just bring a metal water bottle container that can also help with environmental issues such as uh, water bottle pollution and keep you nice and hydrated. Okay, what's that path going to up there? Right up there is a large mound of soil that kind of got covered up with foliage. And originally what this mound was for was uh, to set a foundation for a school that we were planning on building here in Kramer Hill. But unfortunately that never occurred, so it just got taken over by Mother Nature. What's here before? Do you know? The Camden City Wastewater Treatment Plant used to be here. And after uh, decades of being untouched, Mother Nature reclaimed what was hers. So. That's why we have this natural preserve here today. Mm -hmm. Which is good for storm water. Yeah. And, and can help the flooding in Camden. All good. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that is? That right there is poison ivy. So How can you tell? Of the three leaves. The three leaves and the red dot right at the center of the three leaves. Always gotta watch out for that, especially when walking out in this area. There tends to be a lot of it. You just gotta be mindful of where you're stepping. Right here next to me are some Japanese knotweeds. They're pretty invasive species, along with the um, Phragmites here at the nature preserve. These bad boys can pretty much like grow anywhere and outcompete all the other plant life. Um, they actually grow in really dense populations because of how thick their um, stems are with the bamboo. And plus it makes it really hard for animals like deers and other kind of species here in the preserve to walk through or navigate through. Um, they can pretty much cover up a lot of vegetation here and cover up a lot of trails, which is a kind of like an issue. Another invasive species you can locate here at the Kramer Hill Nature Preserve is Phragmites. And one way you can identify Phragmites is by their brown tufts at the top. And the way that they got here was through the colonial period, where during, during that time, people would build their ships and their architecture with them because they're very sturdy material. And after, after them arriving, they had left it behind and it began to integrate itself into the nature found in the Northeast. Another highlight of the nature preserve are these cedar trees with the wire fencing in order to protect them from the local deer. And they've been here since about September of last year. What is that? Oh, that looks like a fallen down tree. 
probably like a storm knocked it over or something. Yeah. Something wild, probably like, you know. That would make a great animal habitat. Mm -hmm. Oh guys, did you also notice that there's deer tracks here too? I bet you didn't. There's one right here. There's also um, maybe like dog tracks like right here too. And the most dangerous one, the human. <laughs> That's real. Looks like there's... That looks like a duck. Oh, it does look like a duck, yeah. It, it does. Goodness. It is a frog. <laughs> yes, star. <laughs> so, what, little guy? Um, what you doing out here? So, frogs actually have skin that they breathe through, mm -hmm. so it needs to stay moist. Mm -hmm. So, even though this is not a real pond or pool, it's a temporary one from the rain, and he's taking advantage of it. something in this area that actually attacks turkeys. Maybe like foxes. This is actually my favorite spot of the entire nature preserve. Right here is a beautiful pond home to a lot of aquatic life. Um, the main animals that you can see in this area are fishes and turtles. And sometimes if you're lucky enough and quiet enough, you're able to see the turtles on top of the, um, the logs. So behind me is the Delaware River back channel and over there is the bridge that connects the mainland, so the city of Camden, to the future Petty's Island State Preserve. In this area you can find a lot of native species, so deer, wild turkeys, foxes, raccoons, and then across on the island is where you can find a lot more things like eagles and turtles and other things like that. Littering and illegal dumping is still an occurring issue here in Camden. Um, at the preserve, you can see examples of plastic bags, water bottles, straws. Um, there's even glass that scatters across the, um, the trails. Um, one common thing that's uh, pretty surprising is you will find actually really big cars like this just laying around in the preserve. Car pieces, um, some tires even. And so sometimes we do have um, power cord that does come around and clean up the trash as well. Um, and another way that you can help out is just just to not throw away your trash. You can also, if you drop something, just pick it up. You see something scattered on the floor, and if you feel courteous enough, just pick it up, clean it, and you could just leave it by the entrance of the nature preserve, and Power Corps will just come by and pick up the trash and carry it out. <laughs> 